Welcome to Real Physics. This is my series about great physicists and today I am talking about Max Planck. Max Planck was born in 1858 in Kiel and made quite a conventional career in physics. He became a professor relatively soon in Berlin. But think about this was a time when nobody expected something revolutionary to happen in physics. Albert Michelson famously said in 1894, I think, all the basic laws have been discovered. What we can expect is changes in the sixth decimal place in physics. What he became famous for, of course, is his law of thermal radiation. This is the formula and, well, it's also important because our sun emits this particular black body spectrum. There were, of course, predecessors, Rayleigh Jeans and uh, Wien, who had also described black body radiation. But in the formula of Rayleigh Jeans, there was a problem called ultraviolet catastrophe. And also the formula by Wilhelm Wien was very useful, but quite primitive. So how did arrive Max Planck at this uh, formula? I don't know, I just can imagine that he was a skilled mathematician and of course he knew about the Taylor series of the exponential, but still, I mean, it requires quite an ingenuity to reverse engineer this, so to speak, because if you have the Rayleigh Jeans law and then even if you realize that, as I said, the exponential is one plus something and you recognize that this is uh, e times this minus one would correspond to the only x. It's still difficult to recognize that this is a special case of this formula. He had some help from experimentalists who gave him the latest information about the black body radiation, which was investigated at the time in Berlin and he succeeded in uh, setting up this law which was the foundation of quantum mechanics. Why? Because this tiny little constant appears here h and he modestly called it the h for Hilfsgröße auxiliary quantity because he did not believe in the significance. That's very interesting. He did not recognize immediately the significance of his discovery and but if you look at Nobel Prizes, I made a, a list here. I mean, all these Nobel Prizes would be unthinkable without the quantum of action. And who actually recognized for the first time the importance of Planck's constant was Albert Einstein with his interpretation of the photoelectric effect. He said that light would contain energy in quantum of the amount h times f, the frequency. Yeah, this was his uh, Planck's big achievement. And um, of course, this was Planck's constants completed, so to speak, the most important fundamental constants in physics. And he also uh, pondered about combining these constants, the gravitational constants, uh, the quantum of action and the speed of light. And you can combine these quantities and form a length and a time and even a mass. I'm not a particular friend of Planck's units because they are kind of a playground for theoreticians where theories are not falsifiable any longer. However, it is important that we have this basis of fundamental constants. And as I have mentioned elsewhere, we need to ponder about these fundamental constants of which H of course is one of the most important ones. Planck was also very generous to allow Albert Einstein in 1905 to publish his paper on relativity and otherwise maybe we wouldn't have special relativity without this similar paper. Einstein and Planck had a deep friendship for their entire life even if they disagreed uh, in 1914. Uh, Planck was pretty wrong about supporting the First World War. I want to say a couple of words about his personal life. He was a devout Catholic, but he had a very tragic personal life. His 
first wife Marie died in 1909 and then in 1916 his eldest son Karl fell in Verdun in one of these crazy battles of World War I. In 1917 his uh, daughter Grete died in childbirth and the same fate happened to his other twin daughter Emma in 1919. So this is really crazy but it's not enough here. His uh, remaining son Erwin took place in a plot against Hitler and on July 20, 1994 and despite the 86 year old Planck asking for mercy Hitler personally ordered the execution of Erwin Planck in early 1945. Planck had also earlier very courageously opposed the expulsion of Jews from German University and yeah maybe this contributed to this tragic course of events. There are not many biographies about Max Planck also due to the fact that his library was destroyed in 1945. This is not a biography either, this is just a personal take as I said. There is another article by Pierre-Marie Robbie Tai about his life. He will certainly always be remembered as the father of quantum mechanics and discoverer of the quantum of action and yeah he was surely a great physicist. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in fundamental questions subscribe to this channel.